Well, homes along the Missouri River may be expensive, but they don't stay empty for long, until the flood hit, of course. And future building along the water may come to a halt in some places, at least temporarily. Burley County leaders are considering a moratorium on new subdivisions until they can get protective measures in place. Joel Porter tells us why. The Missouri River sits at a non-threatening 10 and a half feet. Despite this winter's dry spell that followed last summer's major flooding, Burley County Commissioners are putting the brakes on any future building in the floodplain. I don't think anybody intends to slow down building so much as we want building to be done in a safe uh, fashion. The discussion comes at a time when housing in Bismarck and Mandan is in high demand. County leaders say within a number of years, they'll simply run out of plots for new homes. I think there's something to be said about being down by the river and being in the trees. You know, and there's not a lot of that left in the city or the state. The moratorium itself would restrict any new subdivisions in areas that were underwater last summer. That has yet to be approved. The county commission first needs to complete a flood master plan. To put a moratorium forever and ever down there, I just don't think is a practical kind of solution for any of that. Um, I just think that we need to be cognizant of what the problems are and how we're going to try to address those problems. Bittner says any homes that are already in the works in the floodplain will not be affected. We're not really able to unring the bell when it comes to existing development, so we'll have to work with that. I'm sure any new homes that are built, we'll want them to conform to new elevations. County leaders say once protective measures are in place, including raising roads and building a system of levees, hammers can once again start swinging along the river bottom. You know, they may have bought their piece of property and they wanted to build their dream house and they planned on building it high enough and all of a sudden now we're closing the door on that. We, we, government needs to be sensitive about that. Hall says it could take up to three years to get all the measures in place, including building levees and raising roads.